So moving on to the next part of module one, that is fractions. Under fraction, what is fractions? Fractions is basically written in the form A by B, where A is called the numerator and B is called the denominator. Now, say for example, this is a pizza of eight parts. If you've had one part out of the eight parts, you've had one eighth of the pizza. If you've had two parts out of the pizza, you, it is called two eighth of the pizza that you've had. If I simplify it to ones are two to fours are eight, so one fourth. So that means you've had one fourth of a pizza. So now fractions are of three types. There is improper fraction, wherein improper fraction is where A is greater than B. So now if A is greater than B, that means for example, eight by seven, okay? This is an improper fraction which we generally do not uh, write as an answer. So we convert an improper fraction to something called as a mixed fraction, where there would be a whole number and a fraction. So over here, I can convert this fraction to seven ones are seven. So that means there's a remainder one. So one by denominator seven. That's how you represent, that's how you represent uh, that's how you represent a mixed fraction. Now, coming to the second part, which is proper fraction. Proper fraction is actually something like 2 by 8, as given in the example. So 2 by 8 can be written as 1 by 4. That is proper. And then there's something called as decimal fraction, where Say for example, 0 0.37 is your decimal. To convert that into a fraction, it is 37 by 100. So 0 0.37 is your decimal fraction. Uh, so now, B generally does not come, does not equate to zero. As, uh, as say for example, out of eight parts, you've eaten one part. Now, out of zero parts, you can't eat anything. So that is why B is generally not equal to zero. So now we'll move into solving fractions. So there are four different, uh, four different things, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, wherein we will solve one sum under each of these categories. So when it comes to addition of, uh, addition of fractions, so I'm taking the second sum under addition, that is, 1 by 4 plus 2 by 5. So now, as you know, as you can notice, the denominators are not the same. That means you cannot add a pizza which is four parts and a pizza which is five parts. Their, uh, their sizes will be different. So what you have to do is you have to take the LCM of these two numbers so that you get the denominator equal and then solve it. So you take the LCM of 4 and 5 so two twos are four, two fives are, two ones are, and five ones are. So two into two into five, that will give you 20. So now 20 is your LCM. Four fives are 20. So now since four is converted to 20, so four into five will give you 20. So if you're multiplying the denominator by five, you should multiply the numerator also by five. So you multiply one into five, that you will get five. Plus, and five, fours are 20. Five into four will give you 20. So if you're multiplying the denominator by four, you multiply the numerator also by four. So four twos are eight. So five plus eight will give you 13 by 20, so this is how you add. So we move into subtraction, where we solve the second sum under subtraction, that is two by three minus one by four. As you can notice, the, the denominators are not the same, so you have to take the LCM. So two twos are four, two ones are two, and three ones are. So two into two into three will give you 12. So if 12 is your denominator, three fours are 12, so you multiply the numerator also by four. Four twos are eight. Minus four threes are 12, so you multiply the numerator also by three, that'll be three. So eight minus three, five by 12. This is your answer. So we now move into multiplication. 
where since there's a multiplication sign, you can cancel out the common factors. Four ones are, four twos are, three ones are, and three threes are nine. So one into one will give you one, two into three will give you six. So one by six is your answer. Moving into division, since there's a division sign, you have to, res you have to reciprocate the second part. So that means I can write three as three by one, multiplication sign, and then after that you reciprocate the other fraction. That becomes five by two. So five threes are 15, and two, two ones are two. You can't leave it in an improper fraction, so you have to convert it. Two sevens are 14, one is a remainder by two. So seven and a half is your answer.